Have you ever taken your loved one to a fancy restaurant where for dessert they bring over the show-stopping piece, they pour over a hot sauce and it all melts away? Yeah, we're gonna make that today on Made for Two and it's not gonna cost you a billion dollars or whatever you paid. So we're gonna start with something which is very fashionable and it's an edible soil. So it looks like soil, but it tastes like chocolate heaven. So in a bowl, I've got loads of dry ingredients, ground almonds, cocoa powder, flour, sugar, loads of other bits and pieces. And we're gonna add in some melted butter. I'm just gonna pour that over the top and mix it together with a spoon. Then I'm gonna spread it out on a baking tray and we're gonna bake that for about 15 minutes and then just take it out and let it cool. Next, we're gonna get on with the second textural element of our melting glass dessert. And that's gonna be a honeycomb. I love honeycomb. It's such a nostalgic flavor for me and it is so easy to make. So in a pan, I've got some sugar and some golden syrup. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this over a medium heat until it turns into a nice dark amber color. And then we're gonna tip in some bicarbonate of soda, whisk that in, it's gonna bubble up really vigorously. I'm gonna tip that into a buttered tin and then we're gonna let that set for about an hour before we can smash it into little pieces. So we've done our soil, we've done our honeycomb, and now I'm gonna talk you through the semi-difficult part of the recipe, but I promise you we can do this because what we've got to make is tempered chocolate discs that go on top of our glasses. So in a bowl, what I've got here is some finely chopped chocolate. It's dark chocolate. I'm going to put it over a bamry on a very low heat and we're going to stir this and gently melt it until it hits 116 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as it hits 116 degrees Fahrenheit, take it off the heat and stir in a really big block of chocolate. You wanna make sure that chocolate's nice and big and stir that in and you wanna reduce the temperature until it hits 88 degrees Fahrenheit. As soon as it hits 88 degrees, what you wanna do is take that bowl and pour the chocolate onto a silicon mat or some baking paper and spread it out nice and thin. Then you're gonna let it set for just a couple minutes and then use a cookie cutter to cut your discs of chocolate out. Okay, it's game time. It's make or break now, people. All the effort we've put in, it all comes down to this. So I've got my soil, which is cool, that looks amazing. I'm gonna start by tipping this into a clear glass. And you want the glass to be clear so that you can show off everything that's inside. I'm gonna fill this up, probably about halfway, and then we can top it up with everything else. Then just add your final little teaspoon of mixture. And then we're gonna shake this just to flatten it out. And next is the honeycomb. And at the moment, it's kind of big chunks. We don't really want big chunks of honeycomb. So I'm gonna snap this up into little bits and we're just gonna drop this into the top. And it's gonna add a really nice texture because you've got soft soil, that kind of crunchy honeycomb, and then the freshness of those raspberries. Once you've added those layers, now we get onto my favorite part. So I'm gonna take a big scoop of ice cream. You can use vanilla, chocolate, anything your partner loves. And then I'm gonna take that tempered chocolate disc, I'm gonna pop that right on top, and then we're ready for our caramel sauce. So once you've got your disc on top, now it all comes together. So you've got all those levels, you've got those flavors and textures. And now I've got a pot of really hot caramel sauce. You could use chocolate sauce, you could use cream, you could use custard anything you fancy. You just need a hot sauce and we're gonna pour this over the top of our chocolate disc to melt everything away. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, come on. That is show-stopping. That is the definition of show-stopping. And you can make that in your own home. I mean, yeah, you just cancel the reservations of that posh restaurant. You can do it here. Right, I'm gonna have a bite because this just looks amazing. Right, I'm gonna dig in. Oh, that is just so good. There's so many flavors and textures. I would pay big money for that in a restaurant. And I just made it myself, it was easy. So guys, you've got to make this at home tonight. Just don't say anything to your partner. Just put this down in front of them. Pour that hot caramel over the top and just watch them as they sit there in awe of your skills. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I want to hear in the comments from you what you think of this and subscribe to the Food Network YouTube channel for more amazing things like this. I'll see you next time. Bye.